Rogue Legacy. Two. The legend returns again. We got a Rogue Legacy 2, early, 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 early access, and it was still pretty, pretty basic in its infancy. It was kind of more of a showcase of their, uh, of the new art style and everything, which I really appreciate. I think it looks really, really good. Uh, if you want to see more about the kind of comparisons and whatnot, you can watch my previous video on this in my channel. Um, but I want to focus on the current state of the game, which uh, after playing for a number of hours yesterday, thinking I was just going to get in for a quick match. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I could say that, uh, yeah, the game the game has been expanded upon in almost every facet imaginable. So let's go and get into the title here. Man, I did like 30 something episodes of this game back in 2013. Some of you guys remember this. Um, <clears throat> so let's start with the changes. Right off the bat, you can see my legacy, which is all the all the different characters I played as. Um, yeah, is there a fast way to go through this? Because it takes forever. <laughs> This keeps going. Yeah. No, let's go back. <laughs> I have a lot. I have a lot of heirs, or a lot of, uh, of of lineage here that goes all the way back. Um, of course. <laughs> so stylistically, as you can see, the the the, the new hand drawn versus the pixel art, uh, it still keeps the same essence. So much so that I actually thought it was the same. You know, like rose pitted goggles kind of thing. Um, and when I went back and I looked, and I was like, oh wait, no, the previous was like 100% pixel art. So they did a really good job of keeping that same flair. Um, next, you have, uh, you, of course, you choose your heir, which is your character that you're going, that, that uh, succeeds the previous one, which is Lady Katie the Fourth, who was a boxer, as you can see. Uh, and her heir is going to be either uh, a knight, it's going to be a duelist, or it's going to be a mage. And so you see this one has a modifier for 25% extra gold, and it says masochism. So whatever masochism is, which you have not unlocked yet, because, I mean, we've I've 13 hours into the game, I've not seen all the... Uh, uh, all the different modifiers. Although to be fair, four of those hours were on the recent patch, so maybe they weren't added previous to that. But, but still, four hours. It was like maybe ten runs or something, maybe more than ten runs. I'm sure actually, uh, where we you know, we still haven't seen all anywhere near all the traits. So let's go and choose this one. We'll see what masochism is. And then we get in. This is where you typically you end up when you after you spend your uh, uh, or after you complete a run. You choose your air. You get in here. This is where you spend some of the money you've earned. You see, I'm level 50 somehow. Um, I have 610 gold. You can see that on the right hand side. I got mouse here. Good. So there we go. 610 gold, and I have a number of places I can spend it, spend it here on the tree. Now, some elements of this tree, and it keeps on expanding. By the way, the tower keeps on castle keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, but uh, some of these assets, uh, some of these uh, unlocks of the tree are actually classes. So this is the mage, this is the Valkyrie, we have the Barbarian, we have the Dragon something, Dragon Lancers, we have the uh, the Boxers, uh, and then of course you have individual stat increases. So you can start with more health, or you can start with more or more uh, uh, rune carry capacity or whatever. Um, there's just a number of different things you could go through and you can... Um, you know, uh, throw down some uh, some money in order to to, to, to to make your future runs a little bit easier. This is your starting area, and you gotta you gotta think like you know you guys have played. If you haven't played Rogue Legacy, you probably played a ton of ro of of, uh, of roguelites, or roguelikes, and in all of those, like, especially like Dead Cells or something, you always have like kind of a starting hub area where you could you place your upgrades that you've earned, uh, and then you can you know, use those upgrades to uh, or spend the money and use those upgrades account wide as, as you you progress through the game. Uh, and here is this is no different, but but you got to remember too, like this is one of the first games to really not first, but like one of the early titles to really kind of perfect this um, this 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 loop, this gameplay loop. Uh, so this is uh, this is where you go to, uh, and upgrade your armor. This is where you go to get uh, what do you get from here again? Let me see. Uh, oh, life steal rune. Okay, yeah, this is where you go get runes. I can't afford any right now, so let me see. Wait, if it costs five hundred. Uh, yeah, I only have thirty nine blood. Uh, but there is something that's really, really new. So first, first you can go through and do a run here, which we're going to do in a minute. But I want to show you guys something that's completely new. You go into this room here, and this is the separate area. You could smash everything up, I think, right? Okay, they won't let you smash it up. Fine. Uh, you come over here. Let's see. Boop. Talk to this gentleman here. It was this one. Let's see. Scar challenges you, uh, or and you. Okay. We talk to this gentleman here, and he gives us access to this right here. So it's a simple start. Um, wait, plus one, let me see. Oh, empathy, plus 15 bonus damage and HP. Oh, nice. Oh, wait. Does that give them the, the bad guys? No, it's for me, right? God, hopefully. <laughs> but you have these challenges that pop up. Uh, and I thought this was dope. What's this, what's this challenge again? Will the traveler be strong enough to conquer a scar? It's been a long, uh, long while since I've worked with a mortal. Hmm. 
So they have these things called scars, uh, which, I mean, there's a lot of lore surrounding it, but essentially they just give you access to these. Yeah, your score is based on how well you perform in all classes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I forgot I had to go into these rooms uh, and grab my upgrades. This is now this is a siloed part of the game. This is not part of the main game loop, but it is it does benefit your game loop. Uh, I see Clothos, Spindle, uh, 20 resolve, critical chance for spells and weapons increased by 10%, stronger than you think. And this one is an uh, Oath Relic. Ooh, an Oath Relic. I don't know what that means. Your weapon deals 100% more damage, but has two second cooldown. <gasps> Ooh, that's interesting. And it costs 10 resolve. Now, what resolve is, upper left corner, you can see. I have 175% of it, um, so I have 175 minus 10, 165. Once I get under 100, it starts depleting my health uh, by the same percentage. I, I think. I think it's by yeah, by the same percentage. Not for not a one, not a one, not a one to one. Um, so we're gonna take this one here. Let me see what it says. Uh, oh, yeah, duh. Yeah, one second. Yeah. So let's see. One, two second cooldown. Oof, man, that's gonna be hard. The modifiers that this game has is insane. Insane, and one of the biggest draws to the game to making it give you replay, play, replayability because you're just it's every run is different. Uh, hitting an enemy with your weapon will generate damage or around you for 1.5 seconds. See now that that would be good synergy here, avoiding a fatal blow. Nah, nah, nah. We could take we could take a fatal blow. We're good. We're strong. There we go. So now if I strike, oh I have to hit the enemy though. <laughs> Shit. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. Uh, see how we perform here. I think I already beat one of these. Anyways. Oh. oh, damn. This is gonna be hard. I mean, no doubt this is gonna be rough. Oh. Nice. One shot is excellent. Pull down. Oh. Pull down. Oh, shit. Throw that out. Hit nothing. That guy at least. There you go. Oh shit, I didn't see him hiding in the corner. Oh man. Oh shoot. Oh, <laughs> this is getting hard. Nice. It doesn't do enough damage, my little aura here. Gotcha. Woo! Okay, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> Stop! Stop! <laughs> a simple start. Look at that. S plus. A true rogue. I took a hit. So bronze trophy award. I took a couple of hits. So, so I guess I don't really get much from that. A hundred. Nice. Got a hundred souls for that. You come up here. Whoa. Uh, let me see. Yeah. Come over here. I believe this is where I spend the souls, and as we get some upgrades, and you can use these in your actual run. Increase the max level for the following skills. Oh, that's increase the max. That's like I mean, it's, it's, it's good and all, but uh, max level. How about it's the infinite knowledge? Okay, increase the max level. Oh man, all this max level stuff. Man, I thought I was gonna be able to spend it on some. Someone's gonna give me immediate, immediate. Like this one right here. Uh, higher level equipment can be found. Higher level runes can be found. All right, upgrade manner plus one level. Unbreakable will. Let's just spend it. Let's just spend it on something. So another that's just yet another uh, um, vendor that you could spend points on. Uh, we have the pizza delivery girl here. We found her. She actually helps us uh, with uh, moving from teleporter to teleporter once you unlock it with 1,750 gold, which is kind of hard to explain. But I'll, let me talk to you. We'll talk about that in a second. So she hops in. I had 439 gold. Damn. You want to keep a portion of that and you can upgrade uh, in your tower in order to add more percentage so that way you keep more of your money. Um, so every everyone starts out basically exactly the same, right? Come through here. This, this, this door is closed until you beat, I don't know, a bunch of bosses or something. And you come over here and you enter the tile. You enter the, your first tile set and you just, oh, fuck, you start going ham. Now, because I've already completed the first boss and I've, I've, I've unlocked the pizza girl. <laughs> well, I, I can't remember her name, um, but uh, I, I have access now to another location, another teleporter further into the map. Now, this is a little bit further where I'm supposed to go. You'll see it's like a four star difficulty in the lower right corner, uh, five star difficulty. So I'm just going to smash these things just to get some free money and then I'm going to split and this will get me further into the map. Um, th that cost me 1750 gold. Uh, from, of course, you know, the pizza girl. What's her fucking name? <laughs> she introduces herself as a damn pizza girl at the beginning. So, let me see. We're gonna go ahead and... Oh, 
make your way over. Oh, shit. Slap. What's in here? Some golds. Okay, this is gonna be a pain because these things trigger and then they go down. There we go. Oops. Those little guys. Oh, damn. Level 30 blobfish. What I love about this game is just how tight the controls are. <laughs> like a tiger, man. Like it's real. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. You guys. <laughs> my Jesus. Let's look down. What's down here? Okay, got a bone guy. Let's see what else. Okay, I don't want to go down there. So, uh, if I if I didn't mention it, I, I hope I hope it's obvious, but the game is procedurally generated. It is a roguelike. Okay, those things are sensitive to sound, so we gotta move. Mm hmm. Oh, I gotta get out of the way of that thing. Good. Low on health. Low on health. One earth is up here. There we go. Oh, is there nothing here? Really? Man, I did all that. Oh, ooh, what's in here? Okay, hold on. Oh, hey, discovering some new stuff. Where does this go? Challenge room. Oh, okay, changed the way his, uh... Oh! Okay. Oh, 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 so dramatic, I love it. Lady Susie the Fourth has been slain by a blight-born Astart. I didn't get very far. But I got some money. I got enough money to buy a thing, at least. So let's choose our next heir. Let's choose the chef. Wait, what is this uh, antique? That's gonna be interesting. <laughs> Whatever it is, it can be that bad because we're not getting a, uh, a gold bonus. So I have some money to spend. Oh, I'm gonna spend what I was gonna take up the most. 765, increase health. Let me see, this one increases my focus, raising spell crits, 785. Uh, down here we have increased make, max weight capacity. That's good for when you start upgrading armor and such. Uh, and then 665, 785. So lots of these are just 785 because of the way that the way it scales as you you, you plant upgrades. So I gotta start being careful with where I, where I plant some of these. Uh, let's go ahead and increase that. And then we're gonna leave. I don't have enough money to do anything else. So we just go right to the end. Let's go. And the game loop starts again. This is why this game is so addicting. If you played Dead Cells, you know. But just know that Rogue Legacy is Dead Cells' daddy. Okay. As long as you understand that, we're in good shape. Let's go through the normal area first. Maybe the maybe the run will last a little bit longer than three seconds. Fuck. So what's cool about this guy is that uh, he? Well, hold on a second. Yes, this is my fire. Okay, cool. Yeah. So this is the pan. I think the pan is inherent to the pan. Inherent to the pan is the ability to catch the system on fire, which is kind of cool. But also, I can slap it back. Get out of here with that shit. Get out of here. Look at that. Look at that. Boy, get it, come here. Oh, I can't, I can't stop that. <laughs> get some of this. Ooh, oh, oh, this is good, this is good. These guys, oh, these guys, as long as I keep them juggled, I guess. They drop ingots, or whatever they're, I don't know what they're called, actually. But they look like ingots. Oh, shit, a fireball went up in the air. Let's keep this guy juggled here. Uh, those ingots are, are, are uh, uh, um, needed, necessary for, for uh, gear upgrades and such. So, you want to find those elite mobs and wreck them. You never know what's behind there. Oh yeah, what is that? Let me see. Uh, profile, uh, searing shot, hold to aim. Oh, that's how that works. Uh, I see, epic relic, defeat six enemies to prevent the next source of damage. Oh, and it takes 44% of my, okay, nice. I uh, see, uh, reflect them, reflecting grants you charge. Next attack is a skill crit. Oh, even better. Hmm. Restores your health and mana. Uh, recharges collecting health drops. Hold three charges. Got it. Restore my own health. I like it. Whoa. Did he just out himself? He sure did. Done. Whoa. Whoa. Slap him. God, I love that. The backhand with, with the thing. My PUBG and shit. There's a tonk. Tonk. Oh, damn. No. Oh! Come here. Oh! <laughs> Get my ass kicked. What I've loved about getting back into Rogue Legacy is, uh, you know, as much as I play platformers in general, nothing quite feels like Rogue Legacy, man. 
Like they just have, they have the, they have the feel of a, of a good, oh damn, a good repeatable uh, platformer down. Like Dead Cells, of course, has it too, and plenty of other games. But man, there's something about this—the cartooniness of it, the hokiness of the different um, traits that you can have. Uh, there's upside down, right? Or for some reason, everything's upside down. There's uh, there's black and white mode, like old timey mode or something. Oh well, let me see. Let's test this. Test this out. Nice. Took out two. Hey, we can go and leave. We don't need anything else from here. Uh, yeah, the layouts, the way the way the uh, the maps are all laid out is great. Like the zones, the biomes are kind of typically in an area, you know, like upper right zone will be like the next, the second zone and the upper, the lower left zone will be blank, you know, so you kind of know where you're going in general when you're, when you're, uh, boop. when you're out here, oh, browsing through these dungeons, come here you, ping, ping, nope, God, I love this, I love this. Oh, hmm. There's something up there, but I cannot get to it because I don't have double jump, which is something you you earn later. Let's get, let's get, let's get, slap, get. Oh, food! Oh, God, it's gone! Ouch. Whoa. So, as you can see, the enemies here are a little bit easier we are dealing with. I mean, I didn't check the level on some of these. Uh, was that level seven? Oh, shit, I'm not paying attention. Level seven? <laughs> Wait, did I block that entirely because I had the um, the shield or whatever? Yeah, these are these are gonna be story things you can read through. There's lots of lore, by the way. Man, they've really expanded the lore in this game, like lots and lots and lots. So it's not just you know you're oh you're this is your heir and you're just kind of uh, you know cruising through trying to conquer this castle or whatever. I can't remember the story in the first one. <laughs> this goes a little bit deeper. Let me see Karen's trail. Ooh, a toll must be paid. Let's see corrupting reagent. Oh, this is a tough one. Let's try this one because uh, Karen is the one that takes. Is it Karen? Karen, Karen I think. Uh, this is the one that takes uh, uh, across the river Styx, I believe. Let me see. Cursed relic. Uh, until purified, any hit taken is fatal. Defeat 15 enemies to purify and gain 20% gold. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> that's how. That's how you die in games like this. Oh, nice. Cool. Didn't know I had that kind of reach. Let's go before they start springing back up. I ignore the- I'm ignoring all the books because the book has lore that I've already read. Uh, although there's some new ones that's added, but I don't want to- I don't want to give away, you know. There's another one here. Can I aim this in the air? Sure can. Hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me. Okay, my next hit is a crit. Ugh. Nice. How many enemies I gotta kill? Uh, is there a counter somewhere that tells me? Three. That's how many I have, I think. Woo! Nice. Six. <laughs> I'm so scared! Oh, oh, damn! Okay, I was close. Stupid ball. Actually taking damage. Whoa, shit. Oh, no! Oh, jeez. Oh, oh. Wait, how am I not dead? I thought I, I thought it was gonna be fatal. I thought it was gonna be fatal. I thought it was gonna be fatal. Uh, did I read that wrong? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, let's see, uh, profile. Is it not a profile? No. Let's see, uh, is it da, da, da. Is it here? No, 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 no. Uh, quest? No. Is it under gear? Oh, there's at the top right corner. Uh, see 50 enemies and can't any hit until purified. Oh, wow. Oh, you know what it was? My, um, my, 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 uh, profile thing. I heard is, uh, where is it? Uh, epic relic. Defeat six enemies to prevent the next source of damage. Wow. That's what saved me. That wow. Son of a <laughs> All right. <sighs> yeah, boy, Rogue Legacy. Them old feels coming right back. <laughs> Just a wave of emotions. Hey, check it out, Gunslinger. <laughs> Let's take the Gunslinger out for a fucking spin. Ah, so we got some money here. Let's see. Uh, how much money do I have? Uh, 1,326. Hey, so not bad. Let's go see if we can afford to buy anything here. Probably not. Oh, oh, actually, I could buy a leather. <gasps> I could buy a leather out. Okay, okay, hold on a second. 
And not a chest. I could buy a cape though. What's the cape give me? Plus two. Int. What's this give me? Um, I can't afford that. Can I? Yeah, I cannot. If I can afford a hat. A hat. Yeah, it's the baseline one, but you know what? Who cares? Like that's and that's what we got. We we uh, uh, beat those dudes up. Took their ingots. Let's do attack damage. Weapon attack damage. Equipped. Yeah. This this cost. This is gonna cost us uh, leather, leather unity. No, it costs weight. You can see on the right hand side, costs weight. So this is where the weight the weight values upgrading that comes in handy. Uh, I got another fireball for my weapon. Cool. I also have dynamite. Kind of barman style there. Um, and then there's this. Which is a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, 930. No, stop. No, 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 no. Okay. Whoa, that was close. Let's go all the way back here and spend the rest. On a thing. On a thing. What is that thing? How about more weight? There we go. That's going to eventually come in handy. It takes a long time to unlock all this stuff. Um, it takes a really long time to unlock all this stuff that you're going to need for... Um, well, you know, unlock all that cool shit in the tree. And I'm only on the second biome. Although I feel like I milked the first biome a lot because it was all they had in the, uh, in the initial version. Let's go back to the end. There we go. I gotta be careful because I was seriously- I will seriously play this game for the next two hours and not even notice that I'm still recording. <laughs> take all these. Yeah, I'll take that, you know, need it. Pew pew. Here we go. Oh, the music, yeah, the music changes because it changes my arms. Progress. Let's progress. Hmm. Now, you may think this is overpowered. In a lot of ways, it is. In a lot of ways, it is. But! I will still find a way to die. Ah! I didn't really look at that. <laughs> I didn't really look at it there. Oh, this again? Shit. Is this the same thing? Hold on. Oh, it's different. Or is it? Hold on. I love the animation. Ooh! Just check this out. We can get some more health. Restored. Or we can take a hit. And gain a max. Let's gain a max. There we go. Raise our max up. Maybe we'll get some food in here or something to make up for that. Nah, of course not. Reloaded. I'm gonna pop, hop, oh, oh, hop. Super hot. It's over here. Nope, nothing. Whoa! Shit. This is where this class comes in so handy. Oh, he still sniped me. Wait, what's down here? What's something down here? Oh. Oh. Hmm. That's a hell of a risk right there. You gotta be kidding me. No! And they- and they could sh- God damn it. Oh, I'm, I'm out of ammo. Shit. This is gonna be a short run, it looks like. Oh, I could go through walls, of course. Can you go through- no, okay, good. Oh, that's annoying. This is super annoying. Over here. Good. Still missed somehow. Does <laughs> this break? Does this break? There was one in the building back at home. Oh, that's... Yeah, okay. Well, locked and loaded. Of course. Whoa! I'll do one more run. One more run. One more run. One more run. It's fine. Yeah, whatever. 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 These are bad runs. These are bad runs. Let's see. Oh, a boxer. Finally, a good one. Wait, colorblind. <laughs> Crippling intellect. You're an arcane vortex. <laughs> Low health mana and weapon damage, but mana regenerates over time. Okay, I'm sorry. This is useless for this character. Uh <laughs> It. Crippling intellect, you are an arcane vortex. I got it. I love that. Uh, no, let's not do that. Let's, let's take this. Take this. heat. float like a butterfly, and the table is just a word to you. Enemies are blacked out. Sure, let's take this one instead. <sighs> There's so many classes. So many classes. I mean, we didn't get shit that time. Let's just go. <laughs> this is embarrassing. I'm just gonna squeeze by real quick. The walk of shame. 
when you don't buy anything, when you don't buy anything the entire, like, f after a run, it's seriously just a walk of shame. We'll just get right back into it. <laughs> what are my skills here? I got laser beam and I got the spin. The spin to win. We're going right to the end again. We got progress, man. We got to progress to, pro to do progress. No, we got we to gotta achieve some progress in order to progress. Something like that. Let's just get it. Let's get it. Ah, fuck all these breakable thingies. But yes, if you haven't noticed, we keep going by this pizza joint here. This is where we found our friend. Oh, we float. That's right. Oh, that's a little bit annoying. But also, it gives us a lot of jump space. A lot. Look at this. Oh, that's right. Enemies are blacked out. Mm-hmm. Oh. Which means they're going to be hard to see. It's going to make those... Oh, shit. I was going to say it's going to make those things easier. <laughs> <laughs> Naturally, I say it. Something goes wrong. Is there a door up here? There sure is. Oh, God. Okay, this is wow. This is hard. <laughs> I was like, so what? The enemies are blacked out. No, actually. No. We're going to go for this again. Oh, this is different. Oh. Hold on a second. So there is. So this is a weird one, right? Because we can walk off this, but it disappears. Let me see. It disappears when I jump, it looks like. Yeah, so let's pop this open. I can't come in here because it's gonna catch me, right? But I forget, the second I jump though, it, hmm. The barrels don't help. Someone said before, it's like, oh, you needed the barrels, but I don't see how the barrels can help. You can't move them. We'll go to this side and come over. Nope. Hmm. I don't know how to do this one. I was hoping that would like throw me into the air. Maybe I could just kind of cheese it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What if I... Oh, this is going to be a one-time shot. One shot here. I know, I know, I know. Wait, no, no, no. Okay, wait, okay, okay, no, I got it, I got it. Okay, so we're going to do this, then we come over here, and then we... No. We do this, and then we go... Damn it! Okay, we do this, and then we go... Oh, man, that was it! Baby! Oh, I'm a genius! Soul Steel Rune! Liberate life force, restore health for every enemy defeated, scales with intelligence. How smart am I? Am I very smart? I don't know, but damn it, we got it. It's all that matters. I'm gonna float my way over here. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I like that every one of these has been a different experience. <laughs> okay, we have to watch out for these shadow people. <laughs> shadow baddies. Oh, God. Stop floating and get down there and attack! <laughs> Whoa, what is that? Curves upwards. That's interesting, I wonder why. Damn, I thought I was gonna sneak in there before that. You know, I actually thought I could aim that. Uh. Okay, this is a leak. That's why he's got all them fancies. Oh, is he gonna do it again? Oh, he has armor, dude. Okay, so he has four armor, so I have to break through that first. Oh, no mana, nice. Nice. And he has an AoE. Damn, this dude's hard. This tiny little cannon. Mm-hmm, he's gonna rebuild that again. It goes right back to four. Jam! I just gotta get past that last one here. You know, it wouldn't be so bad if I wasn't fucking bouncing all over the place. Oh, no way. Oh! Is 
It's not cheesy. It's a legitimate strategy. You know it. I know it. You know it, and I know it. Yeah, boys, get all the way over here. Let's not touch anything. Actually, wait, hold on. Maybe we should. Yeah. Maybe we should get up here and try. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Well, hey, that's Rogue Legacy 2. The game's dope. They did a good job. <laughs> they did a great job bringing it back. 100% why? Perfectionist. Only skill crits and spin kicks and exploding casket syndrome? Well, shit. I guess we have to do one more. All right, let me save a little more weight. That's what we're really gonna need. I'm out of here. That was perfect. That took all my money. Wait, wait, hold on a second. What is my other trait? Enemies drop an explosive surprise. And only skill crits. Okay. And spin kicks will we'll do damage. This is going to be stupid. Let's take a drink. Ah, here we go. <laughs> this is going to be stupid. I love it. I love it. Right to the end. No, no, no. No, no. We're not going to do that. That's going to be way too challenging. I want this one to last at least five minutes. Only spin kicks. Watch, watch this. Nothing. <laughs> Oh god. Come on. Hyper annoying. Oh god. Uh. Oh health. Nice. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh fuck. Didn't mean to use that, but that was kind of a cool move. Wanted to see what it looked like. Oh, an elite. Okay, we have to at least try. Oh! With this one. How? How? How am I supposed to even try with this guy? <laughs> Duel at 53 XP. <laughs> that's whack. Uh, and then you're right back to the beginning again. So that's the gameplay loop. We're right back to where we started. Uh, I mean, yeah, Rogue Legacy 2, man, like, I mean, come on. Bwah, epic music, yeah, bum, 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 bum. Uh, you know, it's twenty four ninety nine, full, fully fleshed out, new game plus, lots of new bosses, uh, a million new classes, a freaking ton of new traits, um, and just overall massive improvement over, over Rogue Legacy 1, which is already a stellar game, and that was almost 10 years ago. So, a good welcome back for Rogue Legacy 2. Uh, I'm looking forward to playing this game some more. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Mike B, aka Phony. I'm going to see you guys later. Goodbye.